Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is day four of our back to school week. I am collaborating today with Abby from Rooted and Rust, and we are going to be bringing you our morning basket plans for the upcoming school year, for 2020, 2021. So what's great about us collaborating again is that I'm a very relaxed homeschooler with an only child, and she is a Charlotte Mason homeschooler with four kiddos. So you're going to get two very different types of morning baskets and you're going to get an idea of some very different things. Now, before I tell you what our plans are from this upcoming school year for morning basket, because it is going to be very different, um, a little bit different anyway, I want to go ahead and link all of our past morning baskets up here. I have a morning basket every month for the past two years, I believe. So there are tons of ideas if you are looking for some, you will find plenty there. This year, I am actually relinquishing all morning baskets over to Emily. So we sat down and after she did the June morning basket, which was our summer Marvel basket, she begged me to do more. And when I took over and did July's basket, she was super sad because she missed it. So we all sat down together, we talked about it, and me and my husband decided that this would be a fantastic opportunity to do what we love, which is follow her lead and do some interest-led learning, and she is going to be completely taking over Morning Baskets 100%. We are going to help her, going to guide her, we are going to support her, but we are going to let her do everything from picking the topic, if she chooses to do based off a topic, which she has kind of told me that she wants to do, um, to planning the contents that go within it, within reason. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that in a moment. She is going to be able to film the video, she will be learning how to edit videos, um, and then she's also going to be learning how to write blog posts. We are also going to be helping her learn how to do things like use the library database to put books on hold. We are going to be allowing her to shop on Amazon within a specific budget and we will change that budget every month depending on um, the topic that she's chosen, the things we have on hand, the, the longevity of the topic. Like obviously let's say if she chose unicorns, we have tons of unicorn stuff and that's not necessarily a topic that we're going to be revisiting educationally. So her budget would be less than let's say if she was to choose space. I mean space is something we're going to revisit a lot and while we have a lot of stuff, there's still a ton of stuff we could add. So the budget is something that we will sit down, we will decide based off of money we have available, based off of the topic that she's chosen, based off of you know just different things. We're going to give her a specific budget that she has to stay within every month. What I am so excited about is that by doing this, she is going to be practicing math within her budget. She's going to be practicing writing because she's gonna have to write down her plans for what she wants to do. Um, typing because she's gonna be helping me write the blog post. She's gonna be doing videography with filming and editing. I mean, all of these really, really awesome things that I probably would not have made a point to teach her in our homeschool had this opportunity not presented itself. So I'm going to show you, I made just a really quick um, kind of form or template for her to use every month to kind of keep her like on a specific steps and um, make sure she's staying within certain guidelines because obviously I don't want our morning basket to just be full of you know just a bunch of games although I love games I wanted to make sure there's a few other things so she has four basic things that can go in the morning basket um, and those are read alouds mad libs and or trivia hands-on activity and games now everything that was important to me that I wanted to make sure was in our basket and being done every day no matter what, I have moved to our bedtime basket. So our devotion, our journal, um, anything that I wanted to make sure that was being done every day and I wanted control over, I just simply moved it over to our bedtime basket. And you can see more about our bedtime basket up here. So that's what I did with those things. They're not, not getting done, they just shifted. That way she can have more control and a little bit more freedom during our morning basket time. Because honestly for us, morning basket has always been a way to start our day together, connect, laugh, kind of start off on the right foot. It sets the tone for our whole day. So if she has more of a say in it, I mean, she's gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy that she's happy, and it's just gonna make our days go that much better. So it's gonna be great. What I am doing is this is for our August morning basket here. You can see I just gave her four simple steps to do each month, which is choose a topic or theme, search the house for items that we already own, because obviously I want her to start there, 
check the library database online for books and then shop on Amazon for items within a maximum budget of, and this is where we'll write that maximum budget. Then she will write down her topic and she will just fill in the four boxes that I have given her for guidelines, which are read aloud books, Mad Libs and or trivia, hands on activities and games. And those are things that we sat down and decided that we wanted in our morning baskets and we wanted to make sure we're happening. She loves that I read aloud and give her the chance to do stuff with her hands while I'm doing that. Um, Mad Libs are a great way to practice grammar and parts of speech. So I absolutely love that. Trivia is a fantastic way to, you know, just test your knowledge on tons of things and learn new things. And then obviously you guys know we love games and I love making sure that we're playing a game every day, no matter what. And games are her love language. So starting our day off with that just always makes us, sets us up for having a better day. So that is the plan for the upcoming school year. Obviously, again, I will update you guys mid-year and again at the end of the year on how this is going. I hope that this is okay with you guys and you're not going to miss me, although I am going to miss you. Um, morning basket was one of my favorite things to do each month, so relinquishing this to her was extremely difficult for me. But I'm also very, very excited at the prospect of how much she is going to be learning by taking over this one simple thing and seeing the passion that she has for it and how excited she is to work for the Waldock Way and share her ideas with you guys has just made me so excited to see where we are at at the end of this year. So I hope that you guys enjoy what she has planned. I will tell you, I know that um, she's already started planning her August basket. This is a duplicate copy because she's already started filling it in. And what she has so far is really exciting. So I hope you guys are excited to see it. And if you have already planned your morning basket for the upcoming 2020, 2021 school year, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are going to be putting in it or what your plans are for morning basket time. Today's giveaway is for a Waldock Way homeschool planner of the winner's choice. To be eligible to win, you must be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment.